I'm so happy to take you to one of the Van Cleef and Appel's boutique in Las Vegas to shop with me. I will show you many beautiful pieces I have tried on this time and I will share their price details as always. Don't forget to leave me a comment to let me know which one is your favorite piece. Let's get right into the video. I haven't been to any VCA boutique for a while and I'm super excited to be back to check out a new boutique that I have never been to. Besides this video, don't forget to check out my Vegas vlog and also Hermes shopping vlog as well. First, let me show you what they have on display first. Before I visit the boutique today, what I had in mind and I really wanted to check out in person are the new pieces from the Rose Gold Gilshe and the Carnelian combo like the bracelet rings and necklaces the essay mentioned that the 20 motif necklace and the rings from the Gilshe and the Cornelia combo are way too popular and they end up sold out all these two pieces but they might have the bracelet available for me to take a look which I will show you in a bit love these stunning pieces from the Fribo collection especially the pieces with the pavade diamonds the Symmetric three leaf look always put a smile on my face and it is very difficult for me to pick between the three leaf look or the classic four leaf clover. How about you? Here you can see some fun and playful beads in different stones from the pearly collection. How stunning are the pearly diamond ring and the pearly sweet clover bracelet and the regular size of the pearly bracelet and the matching ring. I'll try both the sweet size and the regular size bracelet on in a bit to show you the differences. I'm definitely having a hard time to pick one between these two pearly bracelets. Which one do you prefer more? Overall, it does feel that the Vegas boutique has quite some nice collections and pieces. The boutique itself is really awesome too. Let me try on some pieces and share the price details with you. Because I asked about the rose gold gilshe and the carnelian pieces, the essay first showed me this gilshe and the carnelian sweet alhambra watch with four carnelian stones and a total nine motif. Not a watch style I would consider since the actual motifs will need to be removed for my small wrist, but I can tell that the carnelian and the gilshe are just so perfect together, especially this shade of red is perfect shade of red too in my opinion. This watch is currently retail for $17,500. Since I love the Gilshe design so much, the essay also recommended this Gilshe with the pink mother of pearl sweet Alhambra watch as well. It is actually really rare to see a pink of mother of pearl pieces and I do think it's more special and unique than the white mother of pearl. What do you think? This watch is currently retail for $16,600. Comparing these two watches side by side, the Carnelian one is $900 more expensive than the pink Mother of Pearl one. Considering the price difference of the watch itself, I think it's actually more important to find a piece you love rather than the small price difference. They both are really stunning. I think I might like the Carnelian one a bit more. Which one would you pick? I asked if there's any fine motif bracelet is available at this time. The essay recommended this 18k white gold with diamonds fine motif bracelet. VCA always use high quality diamonds. That's why the bracelet is so shiny. In a way, I feel the diamonds are too blended in with the motif design. The back of the four leaf clover doesn't look as pretty as the front. The fine motif bracelet is currently retail for $20. $29,600. I still think the pearly sweet clover bracelet in 18k yellow gold with diamonds is such a beautiful bangle. Even most of you prefer the Alhambra fine motif bracelet over this one in my last Instagram poll. I love the diamonds on the dainty flower and also these golden beads on the side too. They're just so pearly in my opinion. I feel this bracelet also goes so well with 
my stack too. Definitely something to consider for me personally. What do you think? This bracelet is currently retail for $16,600. Or do you prefer the regular pearly clover bracelet in 18k rose gold with diamonds? There are 72 stones here totaling about 1.61 carats. After the price increase over the years, this bracelet is now retail for $28,000 and it'll be over $30,000 after tax. I'm wearing the regular pearly and the sweet pearly clover together here. The sweet pearly has about 40 stones and totaling about 0.68 carats which is way less diamonds than the regular one. The regular pearly definitely has better price versus the diamonds you get ratio but I guess if you prefer the dainty look then the sweet clover would look better. Personally if budget is not an issue just can't go wrong with the regular pearly clover because it's so classic and stunning. I love how the pearly diamond bracelet look together with the pearly bangle. The diamond bracelet has about 80 stones totaling about 2.16 carats and even more diamonds than the pearly bangle. The diamond bracelet is currently retail for $23,600. I love how simple and yet classic the diamond bracelet looks. It can really stack well with either the regular pearly bracelet or the sweet pearly bracelet. If I don't have to consider the price of these two pieces, they are the ultimate perfect combo to wear together in my opinion. How stunning are they? Here is the pearly clover bracelet in the 18k white gold with diamonds. It has 80 stones, 1.78 carats and slightly more expensive than the rose gold version and it is currently retail for $29,700. While white gold is really stunning, I do feel that rose gold is more soft and feminine so I think I still prefer the rose gold a little bit more. Do you think I should consider the rose gold pearly clover bracelet as my next VCA purchase? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. This is the only rose gold gale shade and a carnelian fine motif bracelet available in the boutique right now. How much I wish it has 3 gale shade with 2 carnelian instead of 3 carnelian with 2 rose gold gale shade together. Overall, I think it's still a really stunning piece. The essay said it is possible to order this piece for me and it can also be shipped to me as well. The only tricky part is that the shade of the carnelian is a bit out of her hand. Do you think I should take this piece? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. The 5 motif bracelet is currently retail for $5,000. This is how the 5 motif bracelet look together with the pearly clover bracelet. I'd say they are a great combo too actually. How amazing is the new rose gold pearly watch in the gale shade center and the shiny alligator straps. The watch is 23 millimeter. It is a very small and feminine watch. The strap can be interchangeable to other colors too. Love the round beads on the side too and it looks really good and I think the white strap will fit me better but I love the dial and the, the look of the watch. The watch is currently retail for $9,800. What do you think of this new watch? Love the frivol earrings in the 18k yellow gold and diamonds in the small model. It has 86 stones and about 1.61 carats. This pair of earrings is currently retail for $17,100. The diamonds make the pair look so shiny and I love the heart shaped petals too. They are so feminine and beautiful. It feels that this will be a pair that I can wear forever even when I'm a grandma. Do you think I should pick the pearly bracelet or the fine motif bracelet I tried on before or this pair of diamonds earrings? I really love this pair of earrings but I'm not sure which one I should pick. The essay recommended a getting are set with the frivol between the finger ring here. It has 4 diamonds and about 0.25 carats. The ring is currently retail for $6,150. It is a fun piece but probably not an everyday piece that I would be able to enjoy very often. This is the frivol between the finger ring with Pabeda diamonds. It has 
112 stones and 2.1 carats of diamonds. Between the less diamonds and the poppy diamond version, the winner is very obvious and it also comes with a price tag too. This poppy diamond ring is currently retail for $23,400. I think I'd pick the bracelet or the earrings over the ring, no matter how stunning the ring is. What do you think? Which piece is your favorite among everything I tried on today? Which one do you think I should get next? Leave me a comment and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!